let's discuss another important feature of planning a writing course which is planning which is brainstorming which is activating the prior knowledge of language students about writing about a certain topic we will discuss what is prior knowledge what is schema theory what are its implications for a language classroom in in some of the later modules but let's discuss planning first important element of planning is pre-writing pre-writing exercises as you might be aware of are so useful in terms of activating students ideas generating their ideas about a topic about a situation about um, some genres of writing so actually the plan is to make the students come up with ideas mostly you might have come across yourself and observed in your classrooms that often students complain that they have nothing to say they have nothing to write so getting started is important business of a language writing classroom so pre-writing will help students move will move them to generate tentative ideas ideas which are not final yet which might be finalized with the help of the teacher and the notion uh, the main method is to the main idea is to gather information so when we sort of engage students in group work in pair work in conferencing they what they do is they spew out ideas about a topic so it's it's the game of the ideas and how to activate those ideas can be done through pre-writing exercises through group works and sometimes you might have seen yourself and from my own personal uh, point of view i in one of the writing classes i have seen many students coming up with spontaneous ideas and the teacher's job is to write those spontaneous ideas on the board in the form of half sentences in the form of full sentences or in the shape of words so teacher here is pl playing an active role in terms of accepting those ideas in terms of uh, acknowledging those ideas then remember teacher is not there to say that this idea is right this idea is wrong rather the main purpose is to gather a pool of information and move students from simple to abstract to wild territories so clustering can be apart from pre-writing exercises apart from group work we can make the use of clustering as effective technique to uh, to encourage students plan their writing and form words are related to stimulus are supplied by the teacher and then the teacher circles the word and links the lines to show discernible clusters and this is so useful for the students that that helps them to say what they can't say and it also helps those students who are so shy those who are hesitant to write something or to share their ideas we as language teachers can also use what questions to encourage students write effectively and in this regard you we can make the use of multimedia or web resources use of internet and that will help to elicit questions from students and how we can engage them in what questions is through sh showing them interviews through, through playing talk shows or showing them er surveys or questionnaires and encouraging them to be engaged in what question exercise and that will make them write something plan something and initially that will help them get started